Okay, yeah, well, let's start this. So the last time we took the steps of translation or protein synthesis, but let's now with initiation. In the small and the large ribosomal subunit, they associate together and start scanning the messenger RNA, looking for the first AUG. يمكن يكون في أكثر من AUG بس هو بفتش على بس أول AUG. The transfer RNA يلي هو specific for AUG عنده anticodon as you can see UAC binds in the <coughs> P site. This is the P site. This is the A site. This is the initiation. This is the start of translation. We go for the elongation. The elongation um, messenger RNA. Okay, as you can see, and the ribosome. Did we write the last session? Did we write it? Okay. 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 In the elongation process, I have the ribosome, the P site, can it filled with the transfer RNA? The A site was empty, can it fill the A site? So, BG transfer RNA, yalli who is specific for the next codon AGA, and do you see you as an anticodon and the ARG amino acid bind in the A site? Next step, a peptide bond will be formed between the two amino acids. The third step is the ribosome now needs to move one codon, but that is codon one had a ribosome. بس بدها تمشي وان كودون اللي كان هو موجود بالاي سايت اوكي عم بيصير بالبي سايت لانه عم يعمل بايند بالمسنجر ار ان اي هو منه معلق بالرايبوزوم هو معلق بالمسنجر ار ان اي اند ذا اي سايت هاي ذا سايت حتصير امتي اجين اند سو اون تو ريتش لحتى نوصل اي ستوب كودون يلي هي بالترمينيشن وانس وي ريتش ستوب كودون there is no transfer RNA that is specific for the stop codon. This means this is termination. With termination, the ribosome, small or large ribosomal subunit will dissociate. The methionine will be liberated, released. methionine because it, it was just a way um, to start the translation process. Human no من the protein and <coughs> this is the termination, okay? Hi, the rest me kill ayeta. Man, alima. This is in document D, page uh, maybe sixty-eight, I think. Okay, man, alima. Hi, doli hinni kill ayeta on the initiation, the elongation, and the termination process. Okay. هلا حضرنا نحن هيدي الانيميشن و... وهيدي حضرناها so, يلا خلينا هلا لثيرد انيميشن حنحضرها تو ريفرش يور مايندز اند ذن وي ويل كومبليت وذ سام نوتس اند ذن اي ويل سند يو ذا فايل تو رايت ات اوكي ليتس سي اف سامبادي هاز جويند فاطمة فقيه Kareem, why you are late, Miss? Mariana, Malak, you are late. So Adam did not attend so far. Haidar, Asim, Nemer, and Yusuf. So far, Nimer. Why you are late, Miss Nimer? Miss Nimer, the bad for the Hussala and the bad. Type, okay. You haven't started anything in you yet. Yeah.
let's watch this animation and then we will comment. So, Talia, you can hear the, the sound? Okay. DNA is very long and cumbersome. The strands of DNA also code for many different proteins. To get the code for the desired protein from the nucleus to the ribosomes in the cytoplasm, a copy of the small necessary section of DNA. So this is transcription, as you can see. Okay, I'm going to copy here. This is the template strand. This is the uh, coding strand, the hydel messenger RNA, as you can see. So I think if I have to the nuclear pore, we have to the ribosome to start the protein synthesis. Okay, will be made. The copying process is called transcription, and it occurs in the nucleus. It's the first step in protein synthesis, the process of making protein. The second step is called translation. A portion of the DNA is unzipped so that the mRNA can be made from the DNA like a template. That's transcription. Nucleotides of RNA match with one strand of DNA and make mRNA. RNA polymerase unzips the DNA and puts RNA nucleotides into the right place. C and G nucleotides match up, A and T nucleotides match up, but anytime the RNA places a complement to an A on the DNA, it places a U instead of a T in the RNA. So this is the transcription process. Kifan putsana and the messenger RNA from the DNA. Remember, RNA uses uracil instead of thymine. So if the DNA strand looked like this, the complementary mRNA strand would be the complement, but each time there would normally be a thymine, there's a uracil in its place. The mRNA also doesn't copy the entire strand of DNA. It only copies the portion of DNA that codes for the protein it wants at the time. In fact, most of DNA doesn't code for anything. Only about 2% of it codes for protein. So the small section of coding DNA has a start and stop signal. After the mRNA is formed, it moves out of the nucleus through nuclear pore and goes into the cytoplasm. Remember, there are three different types of RNA. The purpose of the mRNA is to get the protein code out of the nucleus without pulling the DNA out of the nucleus. Then the mRNA will need to find a ribosome in the cytoplasm. Ribosomes can be found on the rough ER or floating in the cytosol. mRNA is read three bases at a time, and these three bases are called codons. Now, the ribosomes are made of protein and RNA, and the ribosomes are the protein-making machines that read the mRNA code and add the correct amino acid using tRNA. Remember, tRNA stands for transfer RNA, and that's because its purpose is to transfer the right amino acid to the ribosome to build the protein. The tRNA has an anticodon on one end, which will match a specific codon on the mRNA, and has a specific amino acid on the other end. Together, these three parts will make translation happen. Translation occurs in the cytoplasm of the cell wherever there's a ribosome. To get translation started, mRNA attaches to a ribosome and a start codon must be read. It's usually AUG. And I remember that school starts in August and that helps me remember AUG. The first amino acid is brought in by tRNA. The anticodon on tRNA matches up to the codon on mRNA. Then the next tRNA molecule moves in and matches up with the mRNA codon. This time, the amino acids form a peptide bond and link together. Then the first tRNA can detach and the mRNA shifts through like ticker tape and the next tRNA molecule can come in. The protein grows until a stop codon is reached. Once the stop codon is read, the protein is formed and ready to finish folding to become functional. And that's the end of protein synthesis. Now we can figure out the sequence of amino acids using the mRNA and amino acid chart. On shufu kif banan shufil codons shubiatuna aya amino acids. Okay? Yeah. Like this one. Let's use an example. Starting with the first three letters, A U G, we can find the amino acids. The first letter is A, which narrows it down to this row. The second letter is U, which narrows it down to this column. And the third letter is G, which means that this is methionine, which is the starting amino acid. 
Next is CCC, which is the second row, second column, and second row on the right. But we don't even have to look at the third letter in this case because every third letter will bring the same amino acid, proline. Next is GGC, fourth row, fourth column, second row on the right. That gives us glycine. And lastly is UAA, row one, column three, row three, and that gives us stop. There's no amino acid here. It just means that the protein will detach and it marks the end of protein synthesis. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Science Pet. Okay, do you have any questions? هيدي بتلخص لي كل شيء نحنا اشتغلنا. Okay, يعني من the transcription, the translation, لحتى كيف طلع الكودونز, the amino acid from the codons. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Teacher, هلا شو اسمه؟ إذا ال mRNA بيجي من شو اسمه يعني بتصير من ال DNA. صح. شو اسمه tRNA من وين بتجي؟ هي موجودة tRNA. يعني ما في كمان شيء. لا لا مش مش لا 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 هي موجودة. Okay. هي موجودة بتكون already. مش مش عم تتصنع من حدا. Okay, yeah. خلينا نكفي with some notes. يلا خلينا نشوف هاي الرسمة. This is the messenger RNA, the messenger RNA, as you can see in pink color. This is the pink line of the messenger RNA. These are the ribosomes. This is the large, this is the small subunits. Okay, now I have a ribosome, one ribosome, one ribosome. Okay, I have many ribosomes. One at the end, I'm going to see the dissociation. And the direction of translocation is in this way. This is called هاي دي الرسمة اللي شايفينا where a messenger RNA is found with many ribosomes بكون عندي كتير ribosomes it's called polysome it's a polysome or we can call it also polyribosome 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 هي the presence of many ribosomes on the same messenger RNA لازم تعرفوا انتو انه during translation many ribosomes move along the same messenger RNA to produce many proteins. Okay? As you can see انا عندي هون I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 بدي اقول انا اذا عندي 6 ribosomes are moving along the same messenger RNA how many uh, proteins are being synthesized per icon. How many proteins are being synthesized? If I have six ribosomes, they are going to the messenger RNA. How many? Each six. ribosome is eh, six. Bravo, bravo, Yashirin. So, six proteins. If I have Six amino acids, six um, sorry ribosomes moving along the messenger RNA. Then I have six proteins are being synthesized. Pyrrhicon, are they identical or they are different? Different. But I have the same same codons. I'm translating. Yeah, the same. The same. Okay. If I gave the word to ten translators. لحتى يترجموا لي اياها مفترض انه يترجموها كلهم نفس الشيء because it is the same paper okay and this is the same messenger RNA same codons مفترض يكون عندي same um, sequence of amino acids so لازم تعرفوا انه polysome or the polyribosome it is a group of ribosomes moving along the same 
messenger RNA. Okay, I'm going to translation the next proteins. And I'll take an example. If I have 10 ribosomes are moving along the same messenger RNA, then 10 proteins will be produced. I plan the Ashra proteins having the same amino acid sequence. Okay, um, yeah, and Sarfia and I all hella during transcription. عندي كتير RNA polymerase حيمشوا على DNA ليصنعوا many messenger RNA okay or during the translation many ribosomes will move along the messenger RNA the same messenger RNA to produce many proteins هلا أنا بدي روح ل note يلي هي بتقول أو بتسأل هيدا النوت which do you think which of the three steps أي من هيدول ال steps هو having the أو needs أو requires the highest amount of energy أي من ال steps ال initiation elongation or termination هو بحاجة ل highest amount of energy which do you think بين أكثر شيء في شغل يعني. الالونجيشن. very good. very good. the elongation. okay. طيب. في في عندي شغلتين بالالونجيشن. they require the highest amount of energy. what are they? يلا في two steps بالالونجيشن أنا في أرجع حط لكم رسمة الالونجيشن so you can see I have هاي دي الالونجيشن شو هن في شغلتين بالالونجيشن requires energy وقت شو yes واحدة وقت ال A وال P side بيصيروا بدهم يتنقلوا okay شو اسمه the translocation very good so Translocation of the ribosome, how they requires energy. What is the Good, Dima. What is the lemon amino acid bind together? Yes, صح. for mean ala hide Fatima, Fatima, can okay? Good, Fatima. ولما الأمينو أسيتس عم بيعملوا join by a peptide bond فإذا during elongation the formation of peptide bond and the translocation of ribosome require the highest amount of energy أوكي okay? أنا ما حتقل عليكم كتير لأنه في كتيب كتير هلا maybe I haven't prepared the file do you want to take a screenshot هنا حيكونوا ثلاثة slides أوكي okay? يا هحط لكم هن هحط لكم هن اوكي يو تيك او تعرفوا شو تعرفوا شو ويت فور 1 مينت اي كان بريبير ذا فايل اتس اوكي اوكي يلا ويت فور 1 مينت اي ويل بريبير ذا فايل اند سند ات تو يو خليكم بس معي عشان اتاكد من الاتندنس دونت ليف <تصفيق> 